Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome to another video, and today we're actually going to do a tutorial on how to make some pretty cool looking text, kind of like this. Okay, so what you're going to need is a couple plugins, I'll put them in the description. So, first thing you're going to want to do is select text, and then just write whatever you want to write. Oh, where's my primary? Just, just change that. Alright. There you go. Now you're going to want to select a font that you want. Okay, now you have that. Control D to the select. You can select that with that tool that I just used. And you can just make that however big you want. Alright, now that you have that, you can do another text in a new layer. Click new layer. Put it under or where it doesn't really matter. Now text again text. Boom. That looks good. Just size it up however you need it. There you go. Now what you're going to want to do is select, actually, no. You're going to want to do a new layer, select this region, like around the text. Make it as close as you can to the bottom. Okay, now you have that. Now you're going to want to go to Paint Bucket and right click to use secondary, left click to use primary. So you're going to want to make that white. Okay, now what you're going to want to do in the same layer is select the Line and Curve tool and make sure your brush width is at like 9 or 10 or something so you can see it good. And just make a dip however you want the bottom of your writing to be. Okay, you can also make it like that or something if you want it to be going up but I like it swooping down so I'm just gonna keep it like that alright now you have that you're gonna want to select the bucket tool and make this black alright now you're going to want to merge both of these layers down it's that button and then you just merge them down and then they're all in the same layer now what you're gonna want to do is effects and then distort then gravity, this is a plugin by the way. So, yeah, all of these ones with these things are plugins, like these little puzzle pieces, kind of. Okay, gravity, and then yeah, that should just look like that. Now you're going to want to go to effects, color, and then grim color reaper, because that's what it's called, which isn't, I don't know, it's a strange name. Well, it makes sense, but I don't know. Okay, now you're going to want to go to the magic one tool, select all the black, and delete. Alright, there you go, now you have your text. Just rotate that a bit, because it's a bit off. There you go. Okay, ta-da. Now you're going to want to go to uh, Google or whatever browser, and then just search up green background, because I found a pretty cool one. You can use whatever you want, but... I really like this, it's 1080p and everything. So there you have it, it's just down here a little bit. Now you're going to want to go to copy image, go back to paint.net and get another layer, move it down, and control V to paste it. Control D to deselect. Now this you're going to want to get your magic wand tool and select all of this. Alright, now you're just going to want to select your lasso select little button, and, oops, you're going to want to press alt to minus, or did I press control? So alt to minus all of this stuff, or delete, I don't know why I said minus, I'm kind of strange, alright, uh, there you go. Now you can get both of those. Now you just have this. Alright, now you're going to want to go to this layer again and edit and invert selection. Now just press delete. Now you can do the same for this one. Oops. Other layer. Just do the same thing to the text one. And actually, I think I might be able to use the rectangle select for this. Oops. Keep on forgetting. Press Alt. There you have it, and just 
get it, so it's pretty much just the text that is selected. It's okay if you don't quite select it perfectly, but if you want it to look like perfect, you should. I probably should have used the other select thing, but, uh, oh well. There you go. Okay, now you have that. Oh, oops. Well, you're going to want to go to this one and just press Control c to copy it. Now you can delete that layer, make a new layer, and then go back to this. Just press copy again. Oops, wrong one. Okay, now Control v And then you can just change the hue on this. So go to hue and saturation. Just change that to whatever color. I like it blue. Looks kind of nice. Alright, now you can go like that. And I forgot the Control v Oh shit. Um, copy, copy. Copy, copy. Oh, you have to paste that. What? Okay. Um. Right. There you go. Now you have that in another layer. I am not that smart. I can't really do tutorials. I just make things by messing around. Okay. Now you're going to want to go back to this. Then copy it. And then make a new layer. And then control V. I probably just wasted a bunch of people's time. Alright, now you can go to adjustments and then human saturation. There you go. Okay, now you can go to this, select it all, press control to plus it, and then go back to here, edit, invert selection, and delete. Alright, now you can delete that layer, and now you have this. Okay, that's great, right? Okay. Now, you're going to want to go to Effects, Photo, then you can just mess around with a bunch of settings, actually. I'm just going to mess around a bit, too. Maybe give you an idea of what to do. Pretty much just, okay, let's try and soften it a bit. Oh, actually, first, you're going to want to go to this layer and merge it down so they're both merged. By the way, I've done this tutorial so many times, so, um, yeah, sorry if I'm kind of going fast, because all of these times I've messed up, I've done it like five times, and this one is the last one that I'm going to do, because I'm just getting sick of it. I'm just really bad at it, doing commentary and such. Okay, now you're going to want to do a trail, if you want. This spacing is pretty much how many, like, variations of it there are. I'm just going to do the spacing really low, make a smaller trail-ish, smaller-ish trail, whatever. You get it. Alright, and then you can change the direction. I like it kind of down to the right. There you go. What did I do on this one? I guess I just did a bit of a trail and outlined it. Well, you can do that. You know, that trail wasn't the best trail that there can be. I'm going to make it a bit less distance. There you go. Okay, now effects. Then you can go to object again and outline. Just you can move the angle to however you want, but I'm not gonna have an angle on it. Okay. No, I don't know if this is even what I did. No, I totally did a glow. Alright. Uh, I'm just showing you what you can do. Kind of. That, that's how I'm going to explain my derpiness. I can just make it darker. Contrast. Control F to do it again. Yeah, that looks good. It's a glow. And then you can go to photo again and soften it if you want. Just make it look kind of nice. Yeah. Alright. There you go. Doesn't look too bad. Okay, now you can go to trail again. I'd suggest doing this because it looks quite a bit nicer. 
So where it was it? Object trail. Object trail, and then Bandicam soft because yeah. All right, trail, and then you can just make it a bit like that. Make maybe make the spacing a bit less. There, that looks about good. Ta-da! Now, those look kind of the same-ish. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, you can just mess around with this. And now you can soften it if you want or something. Let's go do that again. Distort. No, not distort object. No, no, photo. Okay, I'm getting used to all these plugins, sorry. So, I'm gonna want to go to soften again. You can make it a bit brighter, maybe. Yeah, brighter looks nice. There you go. That looks okay. Alright, now you have that. Now you can just go to adjustments and then tune saturation if you want. Just change this around however you think looks good. So, yeah, you can change the little lighting and I wouldn't suggest that unless it's just really really small changes because it kind of makes it look weird so yeah now you have that now you can go to uh, where is it there layers rotate and zoom you can just move that to a good place just make it look kind of kind of 3d ish Okay, that looks okay. Maybe. Maybe a little bit down. Alright, that looks okay. Now you can just, like, add effects and stuff. Mine now doesn't really look as good. But you get what you're supposed to do. And, yeah. I'll just go to an effects, my little effects folder that I put together, just add that, and like that maybe, ta-da, okay, I'm just wasting people's time now, this is, I'm, I'm just messing around, okay, well, let's just add a new layer and make it white. Okay, well, this is pretty much how to make kind of cool text. You can add this into, like, whatever you want. Profile pictures, um, banners, thumbnails, you know, everything. And, yeah, you can just add fire, kind of. Yeah, it, it looks cool. Let's do that. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it helped you. Hope you didn't get too bored. Yeah. Alright, well. Hope you enjoyed. I might make more tutorials if you want them. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.